know, it's Barb coming to you from my craft room. I should say craft studio. I prefer to call it the craft studio because I think sometimes we minimalize how much crafting helps us. So that's why I call it a studio rather than a room. <laughs> In case you were ever wondering. Um, the get, I thought I would hop on and talk about the Get Organized Challenge a little bit. It starts September 18th. Um, I imagine it'll run for eight weeks, though they haven't put the uh, entire schedule on. I'm assuming that it will probably follow the normal course, so that would make it end on November 6th would be the last day. If they aired anything, though, you'd still be working on it for the week following that. And I don't think anybody finishes the challenge in one challenge. <laughs> but, I mean, you can work on it between challenges and whatever, you know. Um, my room's pretty much done, but I keep going because I always learn something new and I I kind of feel like I know the people that participate and it's fun. <laughs> For me, it's fun. Um, anyways, the first week will be about getting ready to get organizing. There really isn't any organization the first week. It's more about learning Tiffany's four section system and preparing your room or space or you know whatever it could be a closet for the process ahead so then normally the second week is normally paper she starts with paper because you tend to get the most i guess wow factor for it you know you get your paper organized and somewhat with your paper organized you can do some simple projects so that's why she starts with paper um, third week is normally embellishments, your stickers, your die cuts, your washi tape, ribbon, things like that. Um, the fourth week is usually tools, and by tools she means your stamps, your dies, your embossing folders, your punches, things that you use to like create your own embellishments, I guess is what we'll say. Your Cricut cartridges would be there, though nowadays most people have the digital Cricut images and a lot of times with those there's to me there's not a whole lot of organizing to do because if you've tagged your images as you've uploaded them like into design space and I'm assuming Silhouette works the kind of similar um, you can find them anyway just by searching the keyword that you're looking for um, fifth week is normally color your, your um, stamp pads your markers your pens it's cataloging those and organizing those. Um, week six is usually the week that everybody dreads. Now, if you're not a scrapbooker, you wouldn't have a problem with this week. It's photos. <laughs> um, week seven is mementos, which, again, if you're not a scrapbooker, you may not have a lot of those. And week eight is crops or crafting on the go. So I don't really do that but I have kind of used her things to kind of get a basis so that if I ever went I kind of know what I need to bring and you know how much to bring so you know if you're not a scrapbook and you don't have the photos and mementos I mean you can still use the system those weeks you could just work on some of the previous things if you needed to but I just thought I'd hop on and talk about that. I'm thinking about maybe trying to do some sort of video series during that time. It might be fun to do like a collab. I know um, Jamie had mentioned possibly doing something like that before. So, you know, if you're interested in seeing videos during the challenge of how the process is going for me or how I've implemented the process. I've done those type of videos before, but you know, I have changed my room around since then. So I do want to do another tour video eventually. Um, or if you're interested in participating in something like that, even if you're, you know, maybe even more so if you're a first time challenge participant, she doesn't charge for the challenge. It's free. You don't have to use her products. She will use them during the video because obviously it's what she uses is her system. I use her scrap rack and I do use some of her other products, but you don't have to use those products to use the four section system. You can use any storage that you currently 
own or that you want to use. It doesn't matter. Um, trying to think. Um, she doesn't really push her products during that. She will mention them. And usually what she'll try to do for people that are interested is she'll wait till the end of the class and then she'll talk about the, pro her, the products she has that pertains to the week that we're doing. Like um, during paperwork, she'll talk about her different paper storage tools. So, you know, but she usually tries to focus that at the end after class is over that way if you're not interested in her products you can just leave when class is finished and you don't have to watch the kind of sales presentation um, she does do them live um, usually they're done on live stream she has been the last few years or last few challenges putting them on the get organized challenge Facebook page at the same time and doing them live doing the live showing the live video there too so you have a couple of options um, the Facebook group is a great place it's one of the few groups that I'm in that truly is drama free I mean every now and then there'll be you know some remark or something that more often than not is misinterpreted than you know wasn't really intended that way I've been in groups where you can tell the people are just saying the stuff to create tension. I don't see that in this group, which is nice. Um, it's, I think it's worth joining Facebook, even if that's all you're going to do is the challenge. You don't have to post any, you know, personal pictures. You just, you know, have a name and no, no photos on your Facebook page. <laughs> if you want that, it's fine. It's kind of a great way to, um, ask questions and see what other people are doing. Sometimes that helps a lot, I think, just seeing how other people are doing the system. But um, but you don't have to join that group. Um, she does give prizes out, give certificates to her website, her store. Um, you know, it's by posting a progress report in the Facebook group, or if you're not on Facebook, you can email it in, and then you go into the drawing as well. So. I've won a couple of times. I've been participating for, I'm trying to think when my first challenge was. I think that it was to January of 2013. So I've been doing, I've been participating in challenges for about five years. I started out with no space. Just, I had my stuff stored here and there. That was about the time hubby said, let's set you up in the dining room. We don't really eat in there a whole lot. So let's set you up in there. So I just kind of had a little corner because my health was such that I couldn't get everything out and craft and put it all away. I wouldn't even get everything out that I'd need and I'd be too tired to do anything else. So I, cause I said, you know, I was sick during that time. At that time I wasn't even on the disability yet, but I wasn't working. I was on sick leave and I'm like, I have time to craft, but I don't have the energy to do all that. So we ended up then creating that space into my full craft room. And it stayed there until 2016 when I moved into this room when our girls moved out. It was late. It was almost 2017 by the time I moved in because the girls didn't move out until December. But So we spent the, the last few weeks of the... They moved out in early December, and then we spent the next few weeks painting and, you know, trying to set up the furniture and all that, so. But I love my craft room using her system. I can find most things in a matter of a few minutes, probably less. Um, my only issue has been that I've gotten, I keep adding crafts. I started out mainly like a scrapbooker and then I added card making, then I started doing 3D craft projects. Um, I got into wreath making, which those supplies take a little bit of space. And now I'm kind of getting into, wanting to get into the sewing aspects. So the maker did that for me. It made me want to sew. I've always had, I've had a sewing machine for many years, but 
I hadn't really used it for much other than a quick hem. And actually for a while I couldn't even use it because it would jam every time I tried to use it. But I did figure it out. Well, I won't say I figured out, but I got it fixed. But I don't know exactly what I did to fix it on. But it, it's working now, so I'm working on that. Um, I got into planning, of course. Um, what other crafts have I started doing? I'm kind of dabbling in mixed media. I'd love to be able to paint, but I can't draw, so I'm not sure about the painting. I want to, I, I really want to do lettering, but I don't know how that's not going well for me. I need to just start over and just keep with the drills for a, quite a while, I think, or even longer than they say. <laughs> so anyways, that's all I've got to share. I will put a link to the registration of the challenge in the description box. Maybe I'll add the Get Organized Challenge Facebook link. And I do, I host an event in that group for the challenge where I post the homework and that way I can kind of pin that to the top and I put links in that are useful for the that week's homework. So maybe I'll put a link to that, that, that too. So there'll be three things in there. So I said, if anybody's interested in maybe trying to do some sort of collab of, you can either do like your process of organizing or just show what you accomplished or didn't accomplish that week, <laughs> kind of a video progress report. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I've got to share today. Thanks for joining me. I'll catch you next time.